Hi everyone, today I'm bringing you Funding Society's app walkthrough. It's going to be quick and simple, so check it out. Okay, so we are here on Funding Society's mobile app and you get a lot of pop-ups here. So we can use Touch ID to log in. So let's log in and okay, there's going to be a bunch of notifications letting you know what's new and yeah, there are just heaps and heaps and heaps so you can go through them slowly. So here we are on the landing page and you can see how much I have in my account. So the account balance just shows us how much we have idle within our account, meaning it is not invested in notes currently. And the first thing that you can see is the notes that they are hosting. So this right here, ooh, what kind of note is it? Term financing and it tells you the industry and you can click the fact sheet. It's going to show you what it is. So you can read all of that and you can invest your money and you can input the amount you want to invest. So the minimum amount per note is 100 ringgit, if I am not mistaken. Let me verify that later. But yeah, you can see the whole bunch of notes here. Uh, there are statistics. You can see that they have funded 2.46 billion ringgit in total. So I think that's pretty cool. They're providing a lot of opportunities for small, medium enterprises. And yeah, it shows you the default repayments as well. Right now we are at... 1.33%. I believe when I made my previous video, the first video on the investments on autopilot series, the default rate was lower. So do watch out for that. Funding societies is seeming to have, um, what do we call that? Higher and higher default rates. So it is pretty much a big concern because you don't want to lose your money in the notes that you invest in. So here we can see the total income I have received to date from funding societies. It is 91 ringgit, 29 cents. And you can see which amounts are interests. And yeah, you can see the expense that has been paid out. So the net income is what we get from investing. And yeah, you can also see how much funds I have invested in total. Hmm, that's interesting. I guess they always calculate in terms of your additional interest income generating more money for you. So I've only put 1,000 ringgit, but it says my funds invested is six, 1,600. So I think they are projecting further into the future. So yeah, I don't really get that, but yeah, that's what it says. So you can view all the transactions that you have. So as you can see, I've only deposited 1,000 in May. I've not withdrawn anything, so it's going to be empty over there. Okay, let's just see. So that's profile. And let's have a look at portfolio. So here it shows us any ongoing notes that we have invested in, whether the repayments have been paid or not, due soon in progress. So yeah, everything is trackable you can filter it out as well for completed or any defaulted thank god there's no defaultings at the moment so yeah you can track it pretty well and we've seen that before okay so here is the place you want to click for depositing your money and it does via fpx so it's quite instantaneous okay let's have a look at the settings function. We can push right on. Okay, so the auto investment feature is something I, that I highly, highly recommend because when we are investing in, I guess, alternative investments that we are not putting a lot of uh, our time and effort into looking into, the auto investment feature is our best friend because if you're really spending so much time looking through the fact sheets, I still think we're better off looking into specific stock picks then because, well, the returns are going to be much better. And if I haven't mentioned this already, your income from funding societies is taxable and you do need to declare it in your income tax declaration which in Malaysia we declare in April. Okay, so 
let's have a look at this. You can see my auto invest has been deactivated temporarily because I have been concerned about the defaults that have been going on in funding societies. So I have stopped sending my money in for reinvestments. Uh, just a personal choice right there. But you can see what kind of filters that I've set on the Autobot feature. So I'm just going to let you have a look. As I mentioned before, I like term financing only. So you can choose which type of note you want to invest in. And uh, you can opt in and opt out for industries that you do not want to invest in. So right here, I've opted out of a few. It's just a personal preference to what you are comfortable with putting your money into. So the businesses are within these industries and the Autobot will invest in those for you. So here are the annual interests or the returns that are generated from investing in this note. So you can set your threshold, like say, if you want to invest only in notes that will give you 8% onwards and 18% returns at most, you can do that or you can increase it or decrease it. It's really up to you. And tenure just means how long your money is going to be sitting inside those notes for. You can adjust that as well. So yeah, these are my filters. Uh, you can tailor it to your liking. The last part here is actually the auto invest amount. So the minimum is going to be 100 ringgit per note. And as you can see, the maximum here is 50,000 ringgit per note. So it's up to you, whatever you're comfortable with then you choose that sort of amount. So you can create a couple of bots and yeah, that will do the trick. Anything else under settings, they have a live chat feature, very useful. If you want to ask them questions, the FAQ page, also very helpful. And you can change your country. Uh, yeah. If you want to invest in, actually, I'm not very sure about this. If you want to invest in Singapore, but you're Malaysian, can you do that? I am not sure. Let's see. Ooh. Okay, maybe not. All right, that's a fail. Okay, yep, I guess that is it for funding society's walkthrough video. There is not that much really on this app. It's pretty straightforward and the website works well as well. So check it out, give it a go. Or if you're interested in investing in P2P, it is just another option for us available. And yeah, if you like it, then definitely give it a go. But yeah, declare in your taxes because it's a taxable income. That is all for today. I will see you on the other side. That is it for the video today. I hope you enjoyed this one and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!